Hey everyone, so I'm going to be filming a school supplies haul. I went shopping for school supplies yesterday, and I filmed this video about 10 minutes ago, but then um, it didn't record, so um, I'm going to do it again, and so yeah. So I went to Office Max to buy most of this stuff, and everything that like I don't say where it's from, it's from Office Max, and then... I will say where things not from Office Max are from. Like this notebook. It's really cute. It's really colorful. And I got this from Claire's. And this is what I based all of my school supplies from. Um, I bought this a couple months ago knowing that I would love this for this year because I'm going with like a more Hollywood glam, like really aggressive, um, colorful theme. And I do kind of like to have a theme, like last year a lot of my stuff was really girly and floral, and this year I'm kind of drifting away from that, and I'm more, I'm ready for something a little bit older, um, so I'm doing like really intense, colorful, um, and so there's this notebook and it has, you know, a bunch of different places, and I love traveling, so this was perfect for me, and then I went to Office Max, like I said, and I got four folders and what huh, these folders are different I thought that they were all the same um but I got these four folders and these are all different colors that like kind of match with this notebook the purple um is actually not in the notebook but I thought that it went well um but this matches this, and this is actually more of a turquoise. It's coming up in my camera, um, kind of blue. But you see where the light hits it? Like, you can see the reflection of my window. And where the window panes are, that's like the actual color. Um, so that matches the London, and then this matches New York. And this matches Paris. And they're almost 100% perfect matches. And so I bought this. And then I I know that I go through paper really quickly. I take lots of notes. I'm pretty attentive in class. And I like to write down everything for tests. So I bought three more notebooks. And the notebooks actually unplanned go with the folders. So there's this notebook. Which I think is super cute. And it has this turquoise scooter and that goes really well same color as the turquoise folder and then I have these two notebooks which are similar but I'm really into fashion design I make my own fashion sketches and so I thought these were really cute and they're very me and so the pink in this one matches the pink folder which you saw and then her orange hair matches the orange folder. So that goes really well. And I was just really excited that that all worked out that way. Then I got, you know, a planner to write down my homework in and anything else, you know. Um, things that I just, appointments, I guess, um, I would put in here. This is mostly, like, I bought this from Office Max too. And I guess they sell these mostly as, like, homework agendas. I used to get them when I was in um, elementary school and middle school. They um, gave them to all the students, but now in high school we have to buy them. And so I bought this small one. I used to have a big one that was the size of a notebook, but it was so big that it was kind of a hassle to use. So I bought a smaller one this year, and I'm really happy because it's the same color as the turquoise folder. Um, and I am someone that like likes to make everything match, but I don't want to make it look like it all matches. So this is starting to look like it all matches, especially because I'm telling you it all matches. But it doesn't look like there was too much effort put in, I guess you could say. So then I bought pens and pencils. I don't usually use pencils, but I bought some just because I thought it would be nice to have for... Not even like... I guess you could use them for math, but I just like to cross things out that I mess up on rather than erase because I feel like it's more time consuming to erase things. And when your teachers are talking really fast, you just want to make sure you get everything down and move on to the next thing. So, 
I got these pens, which are amazing. They're the Bic Ultimates, and it says Easy Glide, feel the smooth. I can feel the smooth. These are the best pens ever. I have always used these. These are my favorite pens. They're really cute and colorful. Like, there's all these different colors, and they're, like, the pens are sparkly, but the inside, it's black ink, which I like. And those are the best pens ever. And then I just bought these because I thought that they were really fun. Um, on the two sides, on the ends, there's pink pens, and one is giraffe print, and one is cheetah, and then there's two yellows, and one is cheetah, and one is giraffe, and then in the middle, it's blue and butterflies. And then I bought some mechanical pencils to match, and, you know, I just bought these because, um, never know when you'll need a pencil when it's required for a class or if I want to do some drawings and sketches that's hard to do in pen sometimes. Um, and then I bought these glitter ink gel pens and almost everything I bought was under $5 I'm pretty sure. Like relatively inexpensive which is really good. Like add it up it becomes a little bit expensive but you don't have to buy as many things as I buy. Like I don't like to buy more school supplies like in the middle of the year. I like to just do it all at once. Um, that's not true. I want to do it all at once, and I do like to buy things in the middle of the year, but I just want to do it at one time this year. Um, so I bought these also. And then I got this case. It's an index card case, and this is to put in my bag um, because I also bought this index card box, and I plan to keep this on my desk at home. I have a locker at school, except I don't know where it is, and I've never used it. Um, but I didn't have a locker last year, and I'm assigned one this year. But I didn't need it last year, so I'm just not planning on using it unless it's in, like, a really convenient location. And there's, like, if I don't want to take my bag to lunch with me. Although, I'm going to be getting my license this year, and we're allowed to go off campus for lunch. So that probably won't really be an issue anymore. Anyway, back to the haul. To carry my pens in, I got this Sephora makeup bag. This was the most expensive, besides my school bag most expensive school supply that I bought and this is eight dollars from Sephora obviously and it's just black because you know black is cute sometimes and then it's clear and what you can see in here right now is the tissue that came in it but I thought this was perfect for pens because it looks like it's supposed to hold lipsticks and lip gloss and eyeliner and brushes maybe it's just for brushes I don't know but um, I thought this would be perfect for pens so I bought that too and then I just bought some index cards for studying. And then I bought this. And this was probably the most expensive thing I bought at Office Max. Um, this is a business card holder. Um, I have business cards for babysitting. So I had a video of that up, but it wasn't really getting very many views. So I thought you guys weren't interested, and I put it on private. But if you are interested, if you comment, then I will put it back on public, and you guys can see. Um... But I got this to put that in because I think this is so cute just with the lips and I'm really into stuff like that. And so then pretty much the last thing I got is my back to school, you know, my school bag. I use a purse. I don't like backpacks. And this is the purse that I got. And it has cute, worn black leather. It's not real leather, though. And this was $32 from Nordstrom's in the BP section. It has these cute little like embellishments and what I like is it has this long strap so that you can wear it as a crossbody but I like to just put it on one shoulder because um, that's what's comfortable for me and I feel like it gives you like easier access to your books and anything that you need when you're like in the halls or in the bathroom or something so um, there's this bag and then this part opens up and there's a magnet and then there's this front pocket right here, which also closes with a magnet. And then there is, this is kind of a mess to try to show you, but then there's the big middle pocket, which does fit all of my notebooks and stuff. And I like that this can just like hang over the top. I don't have to buckle it or anything. So those are my school supplies and I'm super excited to use them and I like everything I think it's so cute so I hope I inspired you guys and thanks for watching